find out more about me and uh, my work and about me and do I do. Great mis uh, a great mystery, there's um, a, a big, big mystery that has spent nearly 40 years. In 1983, the HIV came out, and ever since then, billions and billions of dollars, uh, dollars have been spent in the search for a HIV vaccine, and each time they fail, they fail very badly. And and the textbook explanation is this because it's a retroviral it goes backwards it 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 has to the retrovirus use uh something called uh, a reverse transcription uh, the normal transcription is from a dna it goes the dna will do the rna and the rna will do the protein now the retrovirus goes backwards the rna it produces RNA and then the RNA produces DNA and therefore it's error proof. This is, if you read any medical textbook, it will tell you the same. But there is something very, very strange uh, that contradictory about this uh, paradigm. There is a cousin, a, a, a horse cousin, a very close cousin. The vaccine had been found in China in 1973. And there's another thing, another, and HIV is not the only mystery out there. The HCV, the hepatitis uh, C virus, had been, uh, it was this HCV had been discovered just a few years after HIV. And up to today, also, they cannot find it. Another, another mystery is called the herpes simplex virus. And since olden times, they known about the herpes simplex. You read Romeo and Juliet in Shakespeare. You talk about people with blisters. And the search for the vaccine has started in 1920s. Up to today, it has failed and failed and failed. So what is the mystery? And most, the funniest thing is that HCV uh, and HSV. Uh, uh, HCV is an RNA protein. It's a non-retroviral. HSV is a DNA virus. So what is going on? So what? In 2008, me and my ex-school workers, uh, I came. I was working at Indiana University School of Medicine as a computational protein, uh, protein scientist. And I came home to look after my elderly mom in, in, uh, from the USA. And I started this project studying uh, virus. And we published a, a report in Virology J that I noticed something strange on the outer shell. HIV. The the outer the outer shell of the HIV is is this highly disordered. This was using a computational tool, an engineering computational tool called neural network AI, and it was it's just moving. I couldn't at that time. Uh, we had only a very small data set. We didn't have any confidence to go on further. But I noticed that uh, that this cousin is very structured. And today, about 10 years, 15 years later, we, we, I have a big database of 300 different virus and strains. It's telling the same thing over and over again. It's now, the, the, uh, we, this project has everything to do with engineering, especially with artificial, the use of artificial intelligence. You will not find uh, anyone coming up with these results because we were the first to use AI to address this problem. The, thing, the first thing that we 
The third concept we use is something called protein intrinsic disorder. Protein intrinsic disorder as uh, protein every protein has a structure. Proteins are made up of amino acids, little little sequence of amino acid. But DNA has sequence, it produces uh, the amino acid and is joined together to form a structure. And there are certain cases where there is no, the protein does not have uh, uh, disorder at all, it has no structure at all, it's completely disordered. We use artificial intelligence to inspect the sequence and say, oh, this particular region has no has no structure, it's disordered. And then uh, they, it uses database design implementation and it uses model, molecular graphics. So this the, the whole basis uh, in structural biology is that proteins are highly ordered, uh, are, are, are basically ordered as order. This is the, 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 the Ebola nucleocapsid, one of the inner shells of the, uh, Ebola. And the way is the, the AI is telling you is moving, it's very highly disordered. So basically, the big building is that structure, the structure of this, the structure of the protein produces the function. Next one. So, but there is an open secret, an open dirty secret in this thing. There are many, many proteins that have no structure at all, but they have functions, important functions. It goes by other names, unfolded, unstructured, uh, flexible protein. And scientists know, biologists, uh, structural biologists uh, and crystallographers, they know which kind, which protein has structure and which protein doesn't have structure. They have been spending, uh, there are certain proteins, they are spending uh, years and years trying to crystallize to no avail because it's believed that some of them just don't have structure at all. This one. Uh, yeah. And uh, Keith Dunker, I met this professor at Washington State University while I was uh, in grad school in, in Idaho and Washington State. He and his group was uh, working closely together with the engineering group. They were coming you're developing neural network to the, the basically the neural network fits in the protein sequence and you can tell which part of the protein is highly disordered it's moving, moving, moving. and you can see at uh, at that point is you can check out the 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 the, the, the software is available at www.ponder.com uh, so that basically the neural network works this way. It inputs the inputs are the sequence, the sequence of the protein, and there's hidden layers. In, and the output tells you which residue is structured and which residue is not structured. It's trained on proteins that that biologists know that this disorder is impossible to crystallize. Um, Structural biology does a certain technique. They crystallize a structure, uh, a protein, and they can, and using X-ray, they can tell the structure of protein. There, there are some protein that is impossible to crystallize, and based on that, they're able to train uh, the, 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 the neural network to recognize. Next one. Here, here it is. Uh, the input is the protein. The order neural network, the output order, this order, and and the the sequence on um, order and uh, this order and order to start the database. When I was working, I was working at the uh, Indiana University School of Medicine. I was doing this part of this thing. Uh, the software was developed by uh, engineers. Uh, 
previous previous engineers. The next one. So back to the to the virus structure. The virus the virus have the structure. Um, they basically have the the outer part is the glycoprotein. The, the out this is uh, based on the H, HIV. The glycoprotein then an outer membrane, so, uh, they call it matrix or membrane protein. Then the middle intermediate area called the capsid. Then the nucleocapsid. And in there, there is an RNA or DNA. And each coat or each shell is actually protecting the virus from damage. So the harder the shell, especially the, hard, the, the harder the shell is, the, 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 the more protection it is. Then notice, notice also, um, I forgot to tell you, that the, that the, 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 the viruses that has no vaccine will sexually transmitted viruses, HCV, HIV, and herpes simplex virus. So, uh, so what is with this sexually transmitted viruses? Uh, one. Here again, uh, the, the same structures that I, I talked to you about. Um, <laughs> the, this is with the HIV. Um, other viruses have similar structure, but with uh, a difference here and there. Sometimes one of the outer coat is missing. Sometimes they have only one shell. So uh, depending on, but they all basically uh, play the same role. So, so this is the difference. This is the HIV one. <laughs> this is a SARS COV. The SARS COV um, is the cousin of Wu the Wuhan coronavirus. It has only uh, two shells. One is the membrane shell, and one is the nucleocapsid. This is the rabies. Rabies. Uh, it also has two shells. This is the Ebola. This is a small box. Small box has many many shells. This is the HSV, the herpes simplex virus, and then uh, then the, the 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 HIV and its cousin has uh, a unique uh, physiology. The outer part is called the matrix. The mid intermediate is called the capsid. Then there is a neutral capsid that's protecting the RNA. And this one is the glycoprotein, the one that attaches to the human cell CD because it's a CD41 latch on anchors before it pumps with the uh, proteins and RNA into the human cell. Uh, next one. Um, then the, this is the wavy virus. Uh, it has only two. There's a, a matrix and it has a neutral capsid. Next one. Uh, ponder, so this is basically uh, how ponder works. And it can it goes to each residue. The the artific, the neural network goes to each residue and tell this residue is disordered or this residue is ordered. Um, one way to measure how ordered or disordered a protein is, is by looking at a PID percentage intrinsic disorder. It's basically the number of disordered residues divided by the total number of residues. So the higher the PID is, the more disordered the protein is. Okay, next one. Okay, so when I came back for, from uh, the US, I started on my, my own project. I started collecting all the virus, all the various virus uh, that is uh, available on the website. Measure the PID, store them into the database, and this thing. And they all, they most of them follow this trend. The outer, the outer matrix, outer matrix is very ordered. 
the intermediate is mean uh, has intermediate order. The neutral, the inner uh, inner shell is high, uh, highly disordered. Why? It's the re same reason why crab, crab and shellfish has a hard shell because it's to protect it from environment. So if the environment becomes difficult, acidic or uh, very hot, it protects it protects the the crab or the or the, or the prawn. From uh, getting damaged. The same way, the same way, uh, virus do do it also. Okay, next one. But then I look at the HIV. I see something very very strange in there. It's like it's like someone. You know, it's like you are drinking coffee. Coffee. Then someone comes up wearing his underwear out, walking around, and and this is exactly the the HIV. The boat, the in, the outer shell is highly disordered. It's moving like crazy. The capsite, the intermediate, is is intermediate order. Then the the, the neutral capsite is very is quite hard. So what is going on here? What is going on here? Keep scratching my head. And you see, you see this. This is a HIV. This is the the, the the it's almost crazy. It's almost crazy. So then you look at look at uh, the other the other uh, the, the other virus, the outer shell of the other virus. This is the HIV. The pink and the red, this is the structure of the HIV. The pink and the red is a disordered region. It is moving, moving, moving. And look how much pink and red is there in the matrix shell. And very few other colors. <coughs> and then uh, this is the HIV. This is the, uh, the EIAD, its cousin of the same shell. Very few red, very few red, and very few pink. This is the flu, flu. Again, very few red and very few pink. This is a HIV cousin also, but it's all um, HIV, the H, H, HIV too. But it's a, a longer story. Uh, so, next one. so, so the current explanation, uh, as I've said, but uh, uh, says that. HIV is a reason why why HIV vaccine is not found because it's a retrovirus. But EIAV is also a retrovirus. So it and EIAV has been the vaccine has been discovered in 1973. Uh, they, they, but it's uh it's, it's a horse virus. But there is a difference. Uh, between EIAV and HIV. HIV is sexually transmitted. It may be sexually transmitted. Or someone uh, 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 used a, a dirty syringe and pushed blood on himself or herself. EIAV is different. EIAV, um, the, 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 the hot fly would go in and uh, and, it, and, and suck blood from an infected horse, then go to another infected horse and, and suck blood and then pass on the virus. But there is a difference. When the, when the horse fly sucks in blood, it mixes with the saliva. And each of our saliva actually tries to attack the, try to attack the virus. So that is why it has to have a hard shell. It needs to protect itself, unlike HIV. HIV, when someone has sex or, or push a dirty needle into, it doesn't have to be out in the environment for long. It doesn't have to protect itself. That is why the differences uh, in the disorder physiology is so great. So this one. So this is the EIAV. HIV, HIV2. HIV2 is also a funny story. The HIV2 
Um, the worldwide, the worldwide uh, HIV is HIV-1. HIV-2 is concentrated only in a certain part of Africa, uh, 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 where and near the rainforest where there is certain kind of monkeys called Suti Mangabi. And it needs to be near the forest reservoir because it needs to be replenished. And the real way to replenish is that monkey sometimes, sometimes people will keep monkey or sometimes they will hunt the monkey and the monkey will bite them and then it, it goes from the saliva to this to, 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 to the person and sometimes they will eat they will eat uncooked monkey uh, meat and the person get infected. That is why even though HIV uh, HIV 2 it can be sexually transmitted. That is why the, the outer shell is somewhat lower, lower, uh, lower than the HIV-1. The EIAV, as you see, is very, very distinct. And this is the flu. The <coughs> flu, when someone coughs, it has to remain on the surface for a long time till, till someone touches and rub his nose and whatever. So that's why, that's why we are Ask not to rub your nose and uh, this Wuhan virus. So, so this is the same thing also. The HIV is this day, and and this is the 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 EIAV, the very still red and pain this day. So, the outer shell and then uh, more disordered than most human virus. HIV can afford to be a shapeshifter. HIV does not have to remain in the physiology uh, environment and the, uh, remain outside the physiological environment for a very long time. So this is not just with the HIV, uh, with HIV or EIAV. Every single one, every single, uh, especially with the with the the, 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 the the first vaccine found was the smallpox vaccine. The smallpox, then the rabies, rabies with the famous gluey pasture, uh, a, 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 a dog bite a little child, he discovered this, he discovered the rabies vaccine. Smallpox is when in, 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 in as, as much as the early 1000 AD, uh, 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 Edward Jennings found uh, found the vaccine for it, but then you have, you have to look that the rabies has to remain in the saliva of a dog for a very long time, so it get if the saliva will try to attack, and and the 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 the, the smallpox also it has is shedded from the skin and it remain. Uh, on the surface for a long time before someone breathed it. And there are, there are stories about even up to 30 years when someone removed the grave of someone or people who died in smallpox, the person get infected by it. And poliovirus, another one. Poliovirus is one of the first ones. In 1950, people were worried about babies and little children being uh, 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 being paralyzed and this thing. And guess what? It's transmitted by oral fecal. That means the water is contaminated and someone doing it. So it, in, when it has to be in the feces, it has to be up in a long time. And yellow fever, the, the yellow fever is one of the most dangerous uh, uh, virus around. When someone gets it, 50% of the person will die. And, and it has to be spread by the mosquito. The mosquito bites someone, leaves it in his mouth, and it mixes with the saliva. The saliva will try to attack this thing. And guess what? All these have very hard shell, as you can see, hard outer shell, as you can see by, 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 by this thing. The inner, shell, the inner shell is sometimes hard, sometimes it's not hard. But this is not the case with the two other mystery virus, the HCV 
and a HSV. HSV. This HCV have a, a, a very a quite high, not as high as a HIV. H, H, HIV. They think HCV is sexually transmitted, and this HCV is transmitted when people share needle. The HSV two, the HSV one, and HSV two. HSV one can be uh, transmitted by kissing. HSV two is uh, by sex. Again, you have very high, uh, high, high this thing. But the HSV shell is very complicated. It's bind by three or four different, five different, uh, different protein. But some of them has a very high, uh, high disorder. Next one. Yeah, all all viruses with the exception HIV, HCV, HSV have half a uh, hard outer shell that i.e. low PIV. HIV, HSV, HCV are mainly sexually sexually transmitted. No effective vaccine for HIV, HSV, HIV, uh, HIV was 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 the search for HIV began in nineteen eighty three, almost forty years ago. HSV nineteen twenty. HCV 1988 uh, section, sexually transmitted often do not have to protect themselves from harsh environment. Now the small box is another one. It has many, it's a very, very hard uh, 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 shell. And it, com it has many, many different, uh, it has multiple layers to protect itself. And the reason why it has as I've said, it sheds, uh, it sheds and it can remain for a very, very long time. And stories, they would say about a, a, a someone who was clearly a grave 30 years ago, uh, people died 30 years ago, got infected and whatnot. And people who work with smallpox know that they put in uh, a, a bar of smallpox for years and years and years, it's still active. Rabies is another one, rabies is another one, the Louis Pasteur, I told you about the story about Louis Pasteur, one of the first <coughs> vaccine found, uh, uh, vaccine found. So, uh, here is the polio, polio is all, uh, all very, uh, 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 very ordered, nothing, nothing like the HIV, like the small is actually very very ordered rabies is also uh, quite ordered uh, the, you see the thing polio vaccine and hsp are very complicated it's only one outer shell but the it is made up of three three of uh, about four different protein uh, contacts together to form a shell that's how they form uh, a very hard shell. Uh, this is the the herpes herpes simplex HSV HSV. Look at how how disordered it is, and look at the yellow the yellow fever virus. How ordered it is on the lower shell because it needs to protect uh, protect itself. Uh, so so why why does it <laughs> Why does it, what has this got to do with finding a vaccine or not? Well, uh, the way I, the way it works is this. You have a sugar, the out, as I told you, the outermost scope of a virus is the sugar. And the HIV is the most glycosylated, that is sugar protein. Uh, uh, virus in the, in, the, in the world, in the universe, or this thing, or known. Um, and this is the main tricks, the main tricks, uh, right below the, the, the matrix. And the matrix move, 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 move. In order for, for the immune system to control a virus, it has to bind. Bind uh, antibodies has to bind, uh, bind to the surface of this thing. But if if it keeps moving, moving, all this is will be 
will be the, the sugar level, the sugar will be waving, waving, waving itself. You can use physics, many body physics, and you find that the antibodies will find it hard to bind it, bind to the, the HIV. That is why, that is why it's so difficult to find a vaccine for HIV. Um, coming back, looking backwards, there was a very, very brilliant uh, scientist, Canadian American scientist, who work, was working at the uh, Rockefeller Institute. He, he was the very first one to say the DNA is the genetic material 10 years before the famous Watson and Crick discovered double helix and this thing. This was why it, he was the one who set uh, Watson and Crick into discovery of the DNA. Very, very smart guy. Now, there was another experiment that was uh, that was not known, that was not, uh, that not, not widely known. He, Gobel, he was another chemist, Gobel, he produces, he, he, Gobel is a chemist, he produces uh, a lot of the glycoprotein, I was telling you about the sugar, he was able to synthesize the glycoprotein for, 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 uh, uh, a certain bacteria, deadly bacteria. And because he was going to develop a vaccine for it, a uh, vaccine for it, and then um, he they synthesized, then he injected to rabbit. And there was no immune response. He doesn't know what was what is happening. To be shocked, there's no immune response. Then he was about to give up the idea. Then he he bind the sugar with a, uh, tightly together with a protein. Then he found there was immune response. So the idea about the non-vaccine, the non-vaccine, was actually discovered by Avery Os Oswald Avery in the 1920s. They didn't know about it. So, so there is a, a, a very big application on it. Application. It can be used in cancer. Because what happened is in cancer, uh, they use, they use a, a, a virus to attack cancer cells. Because viruses did, and cancer, they share the same signaling system. And cancer, they produce, produce, produce. They have a lot of receptor. The virus enter it. But what happened when you try to inject a virus into your into your body? The first thing the immune system will try to stop it. But the question is, what happened if you change the virus to look like the HIV? Then the virus, then then that will be a good way to worst develop it. Uh, 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 improved way. And the same way also, you can attack a bacterial infection like TB and also with the, with the antibiotic resistant this thing, you can, uh, you can, they are now using phage, especially in Russia, in, in Russia, uh, uh, the, the, the Eastern Bloc, they're using phage. Same thing also, when you inject a phage into your body, the body will try to stop it. What happens if you develop uh, a fish just like a HIV? So, 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 this, okay, uh, other virus, as I've said, they're very, very long. And also, uh, we, right now, I am, I, I have a paper's publication on the MERS and SARS. I found something very strange. Uh, I developed a model on MERS and SARS, and I'm writing a paper to Lancet on the Wuhan virus right now. Um, okay, uh, chicken pox. Okay, um, yeah. Uh, next one. Uh, yeah, uh, I have a book, uh, a book out. Uh, the book out. 
that you can get it from Amazon, uh, contains this thing, and it talks about the MERS and SARS, and uh, you can go to my page uh, about me, Jurat uh, Hu, uh, you can get it uh, a copy from Knowledge Bookstore in you know, which will uh, it tells you a lot of stories, fascinating stories. As, as engineers, uh, you can see some of the technical details, but also a lot of stories uh, from people who are non-biology, uh, biology people. Okay, uh, this is my ex boy from Indiana University School of Medicine. He was a professor at Washington State University. James Foster was my thesis advisor at University of Idaho. Vladimir University uh, was my ex-colleague at Indiana University School of Medicine. Now he's a professor at the Department of Molecular Medicine, University of South Florida. And uh, you can, uh, for references to my paper, you can go to page 